After installing WordPress on your local machine, if you go to localhost slash WordPress, you will probably see something similar to this. Now WordPress, depending upon the version that you've downloaded, may have a different theme installed, so it may not look exactly like this, but the basic idea is going to be here. However, this is boring and we want to make some changes, so we're going to look at how do we make those changes inside of WordPress. So I'm going to go to my dashboard, which I have conveniently loaded in another tab. Now, WordPress knows that you've just started, so it's going to have a big button called Customize Your Site, and you can click on that. This is going to set up some very basic things for you to do for your initial customization. First off, it's going to show you the theme that you currently have installed. Right now, that theme is 2014. It will give you a quick preview of what the theme will look like. You can set your site title and tagline. And choose to display them if you want. You have color options. Now this is only available in certain themes, but if they are, you can set them. As well as a background image. By default, no image is chosen, and you would have to be able to upload an image in order to display that image if you choose to. Your initial home page is going to be a set of blog posts, but you can use a static page if you would like to. Simply click on the radio button, a static page, and then choose which page you want to use for a static. As soon as you make that choice, you'll see it over on the far right hand side. This is what it will wind up looking like. Of course, you can change the page if you want to, or you can set it to your latest post. It's strictly up to you. You can also define how you want your featured content to be displayed. Whether you want it to display a tag on your front end or not, and how do you want your layout to be as a grid or as a slider. I personally recommend choosing grid because while sliders are neat to look at and they look fancy, turns out most users don't like them and they don't click on content that is found inside the slider. Once you've made these initial settings, click Save and Publish, and it'll update your WordPress site. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way, you can get the most up-to-date information.